We've got to start on Sheffield United, mate. I'm sorry, Jamie. They've conceded now 29 goals. They're on course, if they're carried on like this, to finish with four points and 120 goals conceded. <laughs> if they carry on how they're, they're playing now and the result, that's what they're four likely points. to get. I mean, how can you have one point after 10 games? I mean, come on. They've done it They've done it before, mate. In 2020, 2021 season, they had one point after 10 games as well. The team's not good enough. It's not the manager. The players are probably top 10 championship mm. players. The whole squad of players. Yeah. Just not good enough. And we, we talked about it off air. And surely Sheffield United fans are thinking, like, let's have a go at staying up. This is embarrassing. Yeah, I think, look, Sheffield United fans are going to want to come on and have their say today. You're, you're going to have to sack the manager, surely. You know, Heckenbottom's done a good job, get his up, but he's just not he's just not qualified in the Premier League, it seems. And who do they get in? Chris Wilder they're talking about. But you know, I was just listening to Mick McCarthy talk, and he's right. Chris Wilder got the sack at Sheffield United as well. Yeah. Like they, he, he had a, an absolute stinker. So I just think they're just not good enough. They are going down. I don't care what anyone says. They're not finding a well, way out of this. It's just about it not getting embarrassing now and trying to actually make a you know a show for the fans who are going to be paying a lot of money to go and travel and watch them every week. And they're putting in performances Some are defending though, Jamie. I mean, today they had Arsenal. They've done it most of the season. They've got a lot of players behind the ball. And a great goal from Menketia, you know, his, his first goal. Great first touch, great finish. But the defender, who are you marking? He's looking around at space. You know, it's in the Premier League. You've got to get tied to your strikers in the box. Yeah. Some of the defending is um, ridiculous. And yeah. Heck I mean, you're playing centre-half. Jamie, honestly, I'll get in the Sheffield United team. Not easily. <laughs> Don't you dare annoy what? me. You think you can get in this team? 100%. Have you had a, a month's pre-season? Give me a month's pre-season. I'm getting the Sheffield United team. Mate, they had nothing... I felt statement. sorry for Cameron Archer when you come on. No service. Bru- Brewster, no service. Mm. Some of the play, mate. Yeah. It's actually embarrassing to watch. we can get a TalkSport 11 team together and give them a game? I think we give them a game, mate. Yeah. yeah. Me, yeah. you, Bentley. Yeah. Brazil. Danny Murphy. McCoy, Murphy. Brazil, McCoy, up front as a front two. <laughs> get Murphy Go- in. Goldbridge, left wing. Yes. <laughs> Simon will give us a bit of dough as the owner. <laughs> You're talking about he's got no, he ain't got no dough. <laughs> I want to hear Sheffield United fans though because it, it, it's actually coming to the stage now where they could and they probably will get less than Derby did, 11 mm. points. Yeah, it's, it's not looking good for them. I want to have your say on that. Sheffield United fans, get involved in the show. Arsenal fans, obviously it's a big win for you. Uh, but let's go to Tom. He's a Sheffield United fan. All right, Tom? Good evening, Hi, Tom. Mate, how are you doing? Yeah, good. How are you? Yeah, Tom, look... It's, <laughs> One point from 10 games. I know it's hard, the Premier League coming up, but this is actually getting a little bit embarrassing. Listen, mate, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing for all of us involved. Listen, we can, we can take going to teams like Arsenal losing. Mm-hmm. But we've, we've got no plan. We've got nothing. Listen, we, we've sold our two best players in the summer. Fair enough. You've got to get up and move on from it. But what have we got? Listen, we've all been to the game. You lose 8 nil to Newcastle. Right. Sack him after that, in my opinion. Mm. It's, it's unforgivable. The thing is, right, what I don't understand is Sheffield United, it's unbelievable. They're a big club, right? Huge fan base. Yep. You get yourselves back to the Premier League. You sell your best two players and and then you don't really bring anyone that comes in and you go, yeah, mm. we, we can we can survive. It's almost taking the mick out of the fans a little bit. Listen, listen, the, listen, no one's praising the owner. No one's praising him. But we've come up, right? You can't make excuses now. You've got to put up a fight. And at the minute, what are we doing? We're going down to these places losing 4 5 nil every week. Mm. It's embarrassing. It's em- he, he, he's got that. And I, I feel sorry for him a little bit, but he's got to go. Right? And I'm bringing Wilder back in 100% right now. Right the, now. The, the, the least you can do, Tom, isn't it, is, is get, make yourselves hard to beat. You know, the sneak a sneak result, sneak a 1-0. You, you can't even see that coming. I mean, some of the defending today, we're watching the game. It's schoolboy defending. But... This is, this is what I mean. We're going to Tottenham, right? We're one nil up. Right? We've got a bit, a bit of hangover from that. But these days, mm. oh my God, it, it, honestly, it's, it's shocking. I don't know if you've watched it today. Yeah, oh yeah. my we God. We watched it, we're, yeah. We're, honestly, it's awful. We're, we're leaving after 3 0. But we're do you see what I else, Tom? Even when you, right. when you won the ball back, you couldn't even get three passes together to even make an attack. Your well, attacking players what... couldn't keep the balls. It wasn't just all the defenders. This is what I mean about the plan, though. We have no plan. We don't want to keep the ball. What, what, like, what are we doing? We're in mm. Premier League, we've got here, right? What are we doing? Mm. We're doing nothing. Mm. At, least, at, least, at least give the fans something to cheer about and go, for, and go for the game a little bit when you've got the ball. But what are we doing? We're just conceding four or five goals a game. Mm. That's it. 
<laughs> well, hopefully, look, well, look, hopefully he can end up getting a few results. It ain't looking good. Chris Wilder comes in. Look, he's had success there before, hasn't he, Gabs? But I don't think any manager, I don't think Pep Guardiola can save this team. Well, Jamie, Dad, like, sometimes, like, you come into the Premier League and you figure out a way to get results. If you haven't got the best players, do you do you use your, your, your biggest striker, Mac Burnley, for instance? Do you get crosses into the box? Today, you've got Brewster up front. He needs great service to score goals mm. in that team. Yeah. You haven't even got a plan. You know what I mean? That's what the fans are so angry there, Tom. He's looking at the team playing. He's like, oh, we win the ball, but what do we do? Okay, we give it away. Give it back to Arsenal. Mm. I'm frustrated for him, mate. Watching no, no, that today. No, I know. It's terrible, no, mate. It gets to the point where you're like, I actually feel sorry for the fans. You have to go and watch that week in, week out. He's passionate fans. You know, big club. Mate, I, I played there a few awful. times, mate, and it's a tough place to go, mate. Oh, I hated playing there. Oh, the atmosphere that they, 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 they provide there. Yeah. and The players aren't even feeding off that atmosphere. And even, come on, 10 games... Should be grinding out yeah. a few draws, not one draw out of 10 games. Yeah, shocking.